It's Sergeant Reginald Hawkins from the Sergeant OQ Review. And it's New Music Discovery Week. I'm kind of sad because this is like the last day of New Music Discovery Week. If you want more New Music Discovery Weeks to come, we're actually thinking about uh, starting a show called New Music Discovery Week because of all the great feedback that we've been getting. Hit us up on Facebook, facebook.com slash hiphopnation. On the last day, we have the lovely, exciting, uh, I, I, like, I like the term Fem C, <laughs> Nina B. From Brooklyn, New York here. How you doing, Nina? I'm fine. Remember me? I remember. Yeah. In, in, um, Nina, Nina uh, and I go way back, and, and uh, I'm real familiar with your music. We played your music here on Hip Hop Nation. Um, you, you, know, you know, the landscape of hip hop is changing. You know, shout to Nicki Minaj. We have to give Nicki her due and, and her credit for kind of bringing the, the, uh, the, the, the MC, uh, female MC genre of our culture kind of back. So how you feel about you, you know um, her breaking this glass ceiling and, and allowing other females to come in? I really think it's a great thing that she's been embraced as much as she has. Mm -hmm. I think as a female rapper, I, I would appreciate if she would embrace other female rappers more. So you, you know, you know what's crazy? Let's talk about New York, though. You okay. know, you, you know, you know, it's easy for you know can. because because Nicki had to go outside of New York to get broke. You know, New York didn't really break Nicki Minaj. N Nicki Minaj went and did records down south with Lil Wayne's and the Gucci Mans and mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. And, and, and for all you don't know, you know, Nicki Minaj's groundbreaking uh, 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 mixtape was Beam Me Up Scotty. And it wasn't from a New York DJ. It was from a uh, down south DJ, DJ Holiday. Shout out to DJ Holiday. Yep. And those guys down there. So, so, do you think that, that, that because of the landscape of the hip hop, uh, because of the, the hip hop scene in New York, because it's kind of been on the down slope. Besides the icons, it's kind of hindered new artists like yourself from coming in the door. I think I wouldn't say hinder, but it definitely makes us have to thrive. Like this is when it, it shows the best of the best they're gonna last. Like, some people will not be able to make it through <laughs> certain like changes in the atmosphere, so to speak. You know what I mean? When things happen, only to really survive. Like yeah, but 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 you do acknowledge that there's been a downturn. Yeah, somewhat, like, it's not the New same York. as it was, no. New York is not really the, not the, same. the new music mecca. You, you could, look at, as I you mean, say that, as you say that, that's pain. Ship. Everybody's leaving. They're going to Atlanta. They're going to, like, even some of my favorite rappers have moved away, literally. Like, uh, only we expect them to stay. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, that so, says a lot about where things are going. Yeah, so describe your music and, 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 and like I was saying, there used to be a time when, when, when female rappers, you know, you know, they really spit, and then it came to a time, like, you know, the, the JJ fans, the Supersonics, where the girls are just mm -hmm. the cute girls, and it's we like, like the car, the, the cars that go boom, mm. <laughs> and that type. So, 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 but you're a real spitter. Yeah, correct. You know, mm -hmm. so, 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 describe your style. I have a heavy influence from the streets because that's really where I'm from. So mm -hmm. you can really get a. I would say I have a rugged style. It's somewhat rugged. Even when I try to be on my feminine and I'm and I'm cute and pop, I'm still have a little hint of ruggedness because that's who I am. Like it really doesn't change. So I think I'm raw. I'm raw hip hop with a little bit of all the other elements that I've absorbed. Like I listen to everything. So it kind of it kind of soaked into my what I give back. And because you're such a lyricist, do you think that that's hindered you with, by not having the the the, the so-called catchy pop record as opposed to you know your style where you just you know you rapping your ass off no because i think uh, sometimes people it depends on the market some people relate more to that and other people the mainstream they like the pop sound maybe if i broke away from that more and started to like cater to that audience then they could see that side of me because i'm versatile enough to do both and still maintain my integrity you know what i mean okay, i don't so ever okay, no no finish your thought like i don't feel i don't, I don't feel forced to to try to cater to them, I just try to incorporate it all so that at least they could take something away from it. You know what I mean? Cool. Because I can't please everybody. I just want to do what I do. So let's play the new song that you have, which is a which is a, a, a remix of the Nas's daughter's record. Intro it. I actually, I, I, I'm somebody's daughter. That's true. First and foremost. So I felt the need and the urge when I heard the record to like speak from that perspective. And being have met Nas and had like him say great